Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring to you another video, um, something that I've really been wanting to talk about for quite some time, and it is um, my weight gain. Um, I have been sharing here my health and fitness journey for quite some time, and um, I wanted to, I guess, make this video one to hold myself accountable to the new goals that I have, and then also to inspire anybody who's kind of fallen off um, or in the or in a, I guess, um, in a season where they feel like they're kind of stuck. Um, I know it's holiday season where a lot of people tend to kind of veer off the path a little bit. Um, so if you're interested in that video, make sure you stay tuned um, and make sure you watch to the end because I will be given a few things that I've done recently that get myself back into the groove and hopefully it'll help you out. So first, um, I don't know how much weight I've gained. I kind of, it's always been a practice of mine over the last couple of years to kind of stay off the scale because I know how skewed those numbers can be. Um, they can fluctuate based on your, um, the time of the month if you're a lady. And it also can um, change based on water retention. It also can change based on the amount of muscle mass that you have. Um, and those are just things that I know, so I try to stay away from the scale because um, they can be deceiving. Uh, however, I can tell that I gained a lot of weight based on uh, my face, um, my love handles, and my body. Um, just the way that I feel and look in the clothes that I have. Um, when I say my pants are tight, they are tight. Um, secondly, I just want to say that nowhere here am I trying to say that fat shame or say that... Um, I feel morbidly obese or anything like that. Um, everybody's journey is different and I respect everybody's journey. Um, and so if I say that I am uncomfortable in my clothes, then that's just what it is. Um, I'm not here to say that um, you know, I'm extra big or anything like that because I know uh, some people kind of get offended by stuff like that. So that is that and I just want to put that out there I'm merely making this um, for accountability for myself and hopefully to inspire other people So it is not as though I am unhappy. I actually One of the reasons why I wanted to talk about it here is because I have embraced this weight gain and all that it has um, added to my life um, with a certain confidence that I've never ever had in the past and so I wanted to talk about it now because I'm at a place where I can just talk about it and not feel bad about myself or over it. Um, so that being said, let's get into it. So for the last couple of years, I've been in the health and wellness field. Um, I got certified in personal training. Um, I became specialized in behavior change um, and then I also um, started up my health coaching business where I was helping women to lose weight and gain confidence. And so for that reason, I was kind of getting my shape, getting into shape and um, was able to maintain it fairly well. And even if I did slip up, since I do have that behavior change background, I was able to just understand what was keeping me from my goals and just get back into it relatively easy. But as most of you know, what which I mentioned on this channel is that I started to work um, as a teacher earlier this fall. And when I tell you it is stressful, it is stressful. And um, just like many people, I let that get the best of me. So I wasn't eating properly. Um, and I also was not working out because I was just so extremely exhausted and tired. And so if, I know a lot of people out there can relate to that. So if you are one of those people who just can't find the time and are extremely exhausted from um, the work day, let me know in the comment section below kind of how you feel and what work you do. Because sometimes people think that um, certain professions are easy and teaching is one of those things that are not, it's just not easy. Um, and so at the end of the day, a lot of times I just emotionally drained and have zero energy. And I've always been the type of person who kind of not made any, I, I just don't like excuses, especially being a health coach. I always, um, and I'm trained to um, help people get past those excuses and come up with a plan. And that's essentially what I did to try to get myself back into things, but um, it took me a little bit of time in order for me to get there. Earlier in the video, I talked about how this time around with my weight gain, 
I feel much more at a in a positive place than I was before. Um, many people don't know this, but I struggled with my weight my entire life, which is why I wanted to get into the health and wellness field. And um, I was kind of obsessed with like losing weight, with eating healthy, and I was so restrictive um, to myself that even if I gained a little bit of weight, I would like go crazy over it. And um, typically, would hurry and do a, a juice cleanse or um, eat raw foods or um, with meal replacement shakes and while still consuming an adequate amount of food but obsessing over it in an unhealthy way I feel like and if those are things that you do um, I'm not telling you that it's right or wrong I'm just saying that I realized that that doesn't really address the issue and because I do have that behavior change background I know that most people with just a little bit of change in their behaviors will be able to still come out with those results, but it would last in a much longer way. And so um, I wasn't applying those principles to my own life. And so I had to really sit down and think about what it is that I wanted to accomplish and how I can change some of those behaviors um, in order for me to reach my goal. But it didn't really help the fact that I still was like, oh my God, I gained a lot of weight. And so, in order for you to be kind of patient with yourself, you have to like really, really embrace where it is that you're at and at the time. And so when I found things creeping into my head that were pretty negative, I just immediately just tried to get those out of my head and just tell myself that, you know, I love myself. I love my body. I love um, who I am and really tried to replace those negative thoughts with positive thoughts. And for a while, it kind of seemed like, you know, fake, I was lying to myself, but I really actually started to believe it. And now I look at myself and I kind of can make fun of myself a little bit where I wasn't able to do that before. So I can talk about my weight. I can talk about how my pants are so tight. Even right now they're, they're kind of tight. But I can talk about how those are, how my pants are tight or how, you know, I might not be the same size anymore and it really not hurt my feelings be like it what like it did before because i know that um it's really not the outside that matters it's really the inside that matters and it also matters how you feel and so um i feel at a much better place in my life right now where i can actually like have conversation about healthy weight loss and not automatically run to do something quick because just as quickly as you lose it on those fad diets um will be as you will gain it back just as quickly and i know that so while still embracing who i am and really enjoying the fact that i got a little bit curvy and um what and i am okay with that now i still feel quite uncomfortable with my clothes and I'm not willing to buy a bigger size. I just am not. Um, and so, yeah, I was like, okay, well, let me do what I need to do to uh, lose a few pounds and, uh, and cut off a couple of inches on my waist. And so that's where I am right now. Um, also, my physical endurance is down since I hadn't been working out as regularly or training as hard. Strength training, mind you, because I was doing some cardio, but just not strength training like I was before. So my flexibility decline, my physical endurance decline, and I was not eating properly. So of course I gained some weight, it's just common sense. And so I just have to fix, fix those things. So as I told you at the end, it's coming to the end of this video and I wanted to tell you a few things that I did in order to get back into the swing of things because I feel like I got a pretty decent handle on things now um, and I wanted to share those with you and so hopefully it helps. The first thing that I did was switch my schedule around. So I was extremely exhausted every single day and I started to say, okay, well, let me try to work out in the morning. I woke up in the morning to get uh, to work out because I knew by the time I got off of work, I just feel like not doing anything. Um, but that's also because I was working at work and then coming home and working until forever until I went to bed and there's really literally no chill and no extra time to do anything. So I started to work out in the morning, but I literally just didn't have any time to myself and I was super tired. So I stopped doing that and I was thinking, okay, let's go back to the drawing board. And then I realized, 
well, let me, I really just need to try to get more efficient at my job. And I really, I knew that I was still new to, as a teacher and really I just need to get better. And once I got better, I was able to be more efficient and clear up my time. And so now I'm able to cut it off at a certain time, go home, work out and still have time during the evening to do what I gotta do. The second thing I did was looked at my diet and realized that I was being way more flexible than I really needed to be. Um, many of you know that I've been plant-based for a couple of years and decided to reintroduce introduce some meat products in, into my, uh, or animal products into my diet. And with that, I thought I was gonna be way more uh, strict on myself than before um, and not having dairy and things like that but of course as I became more flexible I allowed myself to have more things try more things and it just I really should was just doing the most and I should have stopped a long time ago when it came to the workouts I realized that I, like I said I didn't have as much physical endurance so I had to start small um, what I did was realize or what I did was figured out what days I want to work out and what I wanted to do. So I started off with just cardio, 20 minutes of cardio a day. And I did that for a couple of weeks until I started to reintroduce some light resistance and um, strength training. And now I'm slowly, um, slowly getting back to where I wanted to be. Then I started to really try to motivate myself with some personal development because um, I don't know if you guys listen to personal development like podcasts or videos on YouTube or follow even people who are motivating on Instagram, but I found that at least myself when I am not feeling so great about myself and I don't really want to be motivated, I tend to like shut all that stuff off, but that's part of your routine and that stuff is absolutely necessary to get yourself into the game. So. Um, watch those people that inspire you listen to those people that inspire you and um hopefully that'll motivate you to get to where you want to go or hopefully get you get you moving um i'm a i'm a huge believer that you motivate yourself people can inspire you but you have to motivate yourself nobody can make you do anything there are so many people who um get personal trainers or um, get memberships at the gym and still just never go. You can, I mean, once you cancel on a trainer once, it's easier to do it again. Trust me, I've done it. The next thing I did was shift my goals because before it was merely aesthetic. Like I really just wanted to get a six pack. I wanted to be, you know, the type of person who, you know, you guys looked up to, to be this health and fitness person. And I was like, well, I just gotta be a certain way in order for me to be that way. But really at the end of the day, like I'm in my thirties, I need to get my stuff together. Um, I changed those goals to me, wanting to just be healthy. Me wanna be flexible, wanting to have endurance, uh, physical endurance, so I'm not tired all the time and so I can have more energy. And then with that, once I do that, then I know the results are gonna follow. Not to mention that's just way more sustainable to accomplish than to always be chasing um, this physical appearance. So yeah, those are some things that I've done to try to get myself back into the groove of things and um, they have been helping so much. Um, not to mention the mindset thing is just so much, like that's just number one. Like if you are positive with yourself and if you start to try to intentionally talk good to, um, you know, talk good things to yourself and think good things about yourself, then um, you won't just take things so seriously. Cause I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it's just not that deep. If you don't make a big thing about it, then it won't be a big thing. It's just you got off, okay, now you need to get back on and just do it. Um, and so I wanted to bring this to you guys, like I said in the beginning, so I could hold myself accountable to doing it and, um, and then also to hopefully it helps motivate or inspire um, anybody out there who has fallen off and want to get back on well. So hopefully you guys took something out of this video. I have a lot more content to share with you all um, in terms of health and wellness. So um, that being said, my channel is going to continue to be health and wellness related and hopefully you all find value in that 
Um, if you like this video, please, please let me know um, by giving it a thumbs up or even um, putting it down in the comments. And better yet, I love to see what your struggles have been. If you guys um, have fallen off before or where you even are right now in your fitness journey, I would love to hear from you. So put that down in the comment section below. Also, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please make sure you do because you don't wanna miss all of the content that I'll be posting on here in the next few weeks. So thanks you guys for watching and especially if you stay to the end to do so. I really appreciate it and it means so, so much. I'm so grateful for you guys watching my channel. Um, that's all I got for today. So uh, yeah, till next time.